Praise the Lord, people of God. Today I have a special word for you. Uh, that particular word is related to fasting. We all might have done fasting in our lives, but let's understand the right way of doing fasting. Most of us, now you could see this picture, the hairstyle, the jewelry and the dress. When we go to a party or uh, to a function, we get ready. And so much of our time goes in getting ourselves ready, wearing the best clothes. So God doesn't want us to waste our time in good clothes and attire and good hairstyle and jewels. They all are good. God wants you to wear it because you are uh, the queen and the princess and, and the kings in, in, the, in the kingdom. So God wants you to wear all that. But during fasting, he doesn't want you to wear all this because what will happen is your time will go into that and you will have less time to spend with God. That's why God says that when you fast, Wear simple clothes, anoint your head with oil so that when you have oily hair, you would not be able to do different kinds of uh, hairstyles so that your time will save. So fasting is a day where your entire time, at least 90% of your time, you must be giving to God. And this particular day is dedicated to God, not to other people, dedicated to God. And God says here that in Joel chapter 2 verse 12, he says that when you fast, your st stomach has to be empty. No drinking of one glass milk that is called as complete f food, no intake of fruit salads, Adam and Eve, ate the same as their food, no intake of juices, tea, coffee, keep your stomach empty. When you keep your stomach empty, you become weak and you will not have so much of energy to speak. So when you don't have so much of energy to speak, then you will speak in different tongues then you will cry and weep and communicate to God because the entire day we cannot talk uh, strongly because, because of uh, we are refraining ourselves without food and our body will be weak. And when the body is not strong, like a small baby, baby doesn't know how how to how to speak so it will cry and it will gain the attention of its mother so god wants you to cry and when you cry the real you comes out the real you comes out and when you cry and when you pray god will hear your prayer and he's going to do something for you He's going to do miracle in your life. You might have seen in the Bible, Jesus asked them to bring the cisterns that were kept in the corner. Those cisterns uh, of mud were not been in use for so many years. So you might be thinking, my life is like a waste life. I am kind of thrown out. I am kind of uh, sitting in the corner, I am of no use, I am empty. Those cisterns were empty in the wedding of Cana. Jesus said, take those cisterns, the empty cisterns, and fill them with, with water. So they filled the fresh water inside them, in, into it. And when they filled uh, the fresh water, Jesus blessed those cisterns and turn water into wine. 
so whenever god wants to do miracle he will ask you to come empty stomach because the system is made of made of mud and god also made you out of dust so you are like a system come empty stomach don't drink water and come let jesus uh, f- fill your stomach with his with his living water and his holy spirit when the holy spirit is inside you it will help you to become a person which god wants you to become he will be your guide all the days of your life sometimes we are confused which which direction to 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 take trade whether uh, to take trade on a red candle or on a on a green candle sometimes we get confused but the holy spirit will teach you the direction we need the holy spirit holy spirit will guide you says the lord and god is going to fill you if you if you fill your stomach and and do fasting god will only fill you looking at the emptiness so god wants to see how much empty you are when you fast so try to avoid these things dear friends and cry bible says that weep when you pray there should be tears in your eyes when you pray and that is a process of purification god wants you to repent god wants you to take away the anger that you have for in for someone and when you when you take away the anger take away the stubbornness you become humble because the atmosphere is spiritual and it will make you to 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 become like christ so you will feel uh, spiritual you will feel humble and when you make a habit of fasting in your life at least twice a week you will become more like christ you will shine you will look beautiful god is going to do that for you dear friends don't be scared how my day would be don't be scared about that because the holy spirit is going to guide you today and when the holy spirit guides that way is perfect that direction is perfect and that direction is safe so so submit fasting is nothing but submit surrender yourself completely into the hands of god and when you surrender you are you are giving your burdens to him you are giving yourself to them to god the holy spirit and the father and you are allowing them to help you to direct your paths and they will work on behalf of you they will perform on behalf of you and you will just become like a tool in their hand and they will get your work done so for that what you need to do is allow yourself to be given into their hands believe and trust that they will not throw you they will use you to do greater things in life 